G'day ZKD here, back with another video from the Path of Exile beta. In this video, I want to talk briefly about the changes to Mind Over Matter in the beta. It's kind of place in the meta at the moment from what I've seen in the beta so far. And uh, I guess a little bit about caster defenses overall as well. So a lot of you guys probably know that caster defense has been a big topic of concern in the meta for Path of Exile The Awakening, you know, with the changes to Eldritch Battery. Uh, Eldritch Battery now places energy shield over the top of mana rather than adding to mana and mana regeneration. And uh, that uh, that change raised concerns for use with Mind Over Matter and old Arctic Armor. You guys probably saw in my recent video that Arctic Armor was changed. So all these changes all at once uh, kind of really shifted things around a bit for what the what the you know the majority of spellcasters were relying on as far as defense goes now it seems kind of like that the caster defensive meta now is uh mind over matter um hybrid life and energy shield and ci which is kind of like you know obviously very thematic it makes sense for where casters are on the, the skill tree around the top side of the skill tree and it's a little more traditional as well but uh a combination of things people are having trouble adapting over to this and just in general it doesn't feel anywhere near as strong as the eldritch battery mind over matter arctic armor combo that pretty much all of us relied on uh back in the previous iteration of the game so mind over matter in particular is pretty interesting uh the first major thing to know that you probably noticed straight away is that it has been moved from all the way down here in the bottom of the tree it was around here i think exactly where iron reflexes was or i think it was about there and it's been moved all the way up here between witch and templar Hallelujah! <laughs> it makes so much more sense for it to be here. And with the various other changes that have occurred and the concerns for caster defense in general, it's a lot it's much better for it to be over here now. Now I I, I had a trouble I had a hard time explaining to people why Mind of a Matter was down in this side of the tree in the previous iteration of the game. It didn't really make any sense for it to be near Duelist and Ranger, right? It's not really very thematic for them. Ta damage is taken from mana before life. It doesn't really doesn't really suit those players, uh, those that playstyle very much. It didn't really make much sense. And really, like, let's face it, the main reason it was all the way down there across the opposite side of the tree from Eldritch Battery was because of balance. Like, it was such a strong combination, Eldritch Battery, Mind Over Matter, and it being, like, in the same area as so much mana, both in terms of Eldritch Battery and all the mana passes and things like that, it was just way too powerful a combo. And uh, the result was that Cloak of Defiance became a very, very, very popular chest armor and uh, was, you know, considered best in slot for many, many caster builds because it gave you that Mind Over Matter in addition to being an okay -ish sort of chest. So with all of these changes to Eldritch Battery and uh, various mana shiftings that have been happening in the Awakening, Mind Over Matter has been moved up here between Witch and Templar uh, in a much more thematic location in a really nice location in general it's on the exact same node as quick recovery which is fantastic and uh all in general like it uh it makes a much more sense for it to be here now and it's a much more attractive option now as well so because of this change um Cloak of defiance is probably going to be a fair bit less popular it will still have its uses because any builds that still aren't going to be in this area of the tree but still want mind over matter and builds that used to get the keystone that were uh down this side of the tree there were a couple uh will now pick up Cloak of defiance potentially instead of the actual mind over matter keystone maybe maybe some of those builds might so mind over matter is in a much better place that's that's good that's a pretty nice change in the scope of things with uh all of the other things that i've already mentioned considered pretty nice place however how is mind over matter to run at the moment what's it actually looking like in the awakening the general consensus seems to be that it's very difficult to get enough mana to make Mind Over Matter worthwhile in a pure mana build these days. Mana across the tree has been enhanced a little bit, and there's been a couple of things added, like Mental Rapidity now has Mana Regeneration Raid on it and things like that. So there's been some improvements to mana on the passive tree, but in general, it's much harder now without that huge amount of extra mana that Eldritch Battery used to give you, which was like 500 to 1,000 extra mana plus from Energy Shield being converted over to mana. Without that huge amount of extra mana and the mana regeneration that came along with that, and also with Clarity now giving less mana regeneration, though it does reserve less, so that maybe balances out a little bit, but just in general... Uh, the um, sort of the automatic mana that you have available to you or the easy mana that you have available to you for a mind over matter build is now much lower. Now I'm only just starting to get to end game with this character. I'm only 64, so I still have quite a ways to go, but I don't really have much more mana to get on the passive tree. I think I'm actually pretty much done with all of the 
Uh, mana that makes sense to get. All of the mana that is reasonably efficient. I mean, I have the Witch Start here. I have Deep Thoughts. I have Mental Rapidity. I have Quick Recovery. I don't plan on going into Templar, so I won't be able to get that bit of mana and mana regeneration in there, which maybe that would make a bit of a difference. But uh, in general, there's not too much extra I can get. I can maybe get Soul Siphon here from Shadow, which is kind of a bit supplementary since it's mostly mana gained on kill, but the extra maximum mana might help a little bit as well. And I do have to get uh, the Reduced Mana Reservation here and Influence, which will help boost my Clarity as well, as well as the Aura Effect Node over here to boost Clarity potentially further as well. Those are some options that I have available. But for the most part, there's not that much extra mana that I'm actually going to be getting on the passive tree here. Now, it seems like Mind Ever Matter is still potentially viable on uh, a mana-based build as long as you are getting a fair bit of mana on gear. You're going to actually have to try and think about getting mana on some of your pieces of items. Now, mana regeneration was always a given. Most Mind Ever Matter, Arctic Armor, Eldritch Battery builds would try and get some mana regeneration on gear. You're probably going to want to try and get a little bit more nowadays as well, so that means you might have to consider getting some on your wands or something like that, or making a bit more, paying a bit more attention to that. As you can see, my gear doesn't have very much mana on it at the moment, or mana regeneration, so there's a bit more I can get there. But actually adding mana to these uh, uh, pieces of jewelry or finding ones that do have mana rolls on them and mana regeneration I think is going to be much more important now. So I do think it is possible with really quite good gear to make a Mind Ever Matter build that is similar to what you had before. So obviously it's higher investment which just makes a lot of sense. The mechanic was very very strong before so it makes sense that it wouldn't have to be now higher investment. But it does get me thinking a little bit with all of these changes is it GGG's intention to maybe make Mind Over Matter something that is a bit more situational that you actually have to back off occasionally? Now, this isn't a very fun way to play. It isn't really fun to run out of mana and to not be able to cast your skills and then have to back off. But maybe that's the idea that for the majority, you're able to build without too much investment for the majority of content so that you'll you'll never really run out of mana against most things. But you'll, you will run out of mana once you get into a particularly hairy situation. When you get into a situation where you do take a lot of damage very quickly, then you actually run out of mana and that's kind of your, your signal to back off. Maybe this is GGG's intention. Maybe that that's kind of the playstyle they wanted to get with Mind Over Matter. They didn't want it to be something you could 100% rely on all the time, but something to take the edge off of the general damage that you're taking, and then something to signify when you're in a very bad situation by running out of that mana. So this means that maybe you need to run things like a hybrid flask, or you could run a mana flask. You could run things like, if you have pretty fast cast speed and it keeps your mana sort of slowly dwindling down like I do here with my ethereal knives, and uh, that's not even with fast casting, which I was using before, then maybe you can do something like run a slow heal mana flask with curse immunity. So you can get some sort of utility there, but help keep that mana topped up. So you might have to explore some of these options now with Mind Over Matter. I'm gonna try and explore this idea on this character a little bit more and see where that goes but I'm thinking that maybe that's GGG's line of thought. I might have to actually ask one of the devs about that, ask Rory about that, and see what they think about it. So, still possible to build Mind Over Matter on mana, definitely higher investment, and if you are going for a lower investment Mind Over Matter, then you have to be prepared for the fact that every now and then you are going to have to back off. Now, the other thing with Mind Over Matter that's really quite interesting is that Mind Over Matter actually still combos with Eldritch Battery, believe it or not. Despite the changes to Eldritch Battery, Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter, I think will still be a thing. And Hegemony recently is making, a, he's making another Ethereal Knives character himself, and he's making an Eldritch Battery Mind Over Matter Zealot's Oath character which combines these mechanics together. The most important being, obviously, this Mind Over Matter Eldritch Battery. The Zealot's Oath is mostly linked to the Eldritch Battery. But there is actually this potential here. So what happens is Mind Over Matter takes 30% of your damage from mana before life. Now, Eldritch Battery protects mana instead of your life. So your energy shield protects your mana instead of your life. So what Mind Over Matter does is it turns your energy shield that would be on top of your life, protecting your life, back into energy shield that would be protecting your life. At least partially, 30% of such. So, your, although your energy shield jumps from this side of the screen to this side of the screen, it actually goes back to protecting your life somewhat. Now, that seems kind of roundabout and redundant, but the actual advantage is there that you can reserve all of your mana, so you can reserve 100% of your mana with auras, and then still have the energy shield protecting your life, but also sorting out your spellcasting as well. Now this is not going to work for every build, but this is a pretty interesting combo, and it seems to be working quite well on Hedgy's side of things. Now there are some drawbacks because this sort of setup you kind of need to run something like Zealot's Oath with Enduring Cry to keep your energy shield up or you need to get some specific uniques to make it work. So it's a little more niche but there is some potential there. 
So my overall assessments of the look of Mind Over Matter and Eldritch Battery and Caster Defenses in general that I think there's still quite a bit of work to be done here in the beta. I think GGG still need to off, uh, give us some more options, maybe fine tune these things a little bit more. Maybe their intention is to make Mind Over Matter, as I discussed, something where you occasionally have to back off unless you have very high gear investment in it. But I think that in general, even if that is their intention, there still needs to be a bit more attention to pay to Caster Defenses in general. So guys, let me know what you guys think about Caster Defenses defenses and the changes to Mind Over Matter and how it looks in the beta. Have you been testing Mind Over Matter? Let me know what you've experienced down in the comments below. That's it for now. I'm Ziggy D and thanks for watching.